496 I just put on that well. Switch back to natural gas because our electric bill, oh, we just we can't even afford it. Uh, terribly expensive right now. And they say they didn't go up on price, but I don't know. It bill seems like it's doubled, so. We went back to natural gas. We'll see what it's going to cost to run. Hopefully it's hopefully we're not going to end up with a higher bill but at some point natural gas will go up so we what we did is we as you can see i just poured that pad out kept all my electric equipment we're just going to kind of cover it and put a shed over it that way we can just swap it back and forth uh you'll notice some coolant under that motor um that was uh from earlier I had one of those lines had a small leak in it and I took it apart and got everywhere and, but I got it sealed off so what happens you, that motor doesn't have a radiator on it but we run that the coolant uh, it, it goes down and you'll see that pipe coming off that well going that way well that has a set of pipes inside of it so we're pumping our our coolant into that pipe back and forth twice and it comes out cold to the touch I mean it's just cold cold to the touch and so that that motor is running like 190 degrees maybe uh, stays pretty cold and uh, you'll see I put that dill on top of that gearhead that's a tack and that's how we, we know how fast it's running that gearhead's running and uh my throttle on that thing's been kind of just moving back and forth i'm trying to get her just kind of set and it's uh i went and filled up a tractor with diesel and stuff a couple miles away and i came back and that throttle was loose and it had, I mean, it had uh, cranked itself on i mean it was really rolling and uh, i think i got it set where it, it, it won't it won't turn itself it won't go on any, any more than it is it won't won't give itself more fuel um need to do something maybe get a little wood block because my motor's kind of shaking a little bit and that typically they won't do that um the stand that's under it's not that good of a stand i was i didn't build it i, I should have just built it but yeah so and the, you see the drive shaft isn't covered. Um, that will be covered this coming week. Uh, a lot of people don't cover them. We do. Uh, the only reason I haven't done it yet is just be, we've been messing with the well. See, I I put a new pump down the hole and a new and I had to buy that. So uh, just the work on the well itself, not the motor was 21,000 so <laughs> I, I pulled it put a smaller pump down the hole because I don't have the water that I used to and uh, I had to replace a couple pieces of pipe and and just to pull it was like five five grand um, the pump was eight grand the gear head was six grand like it just it adds up and then that motor I'm gonna have about thirty thousand just right away, and this I have been pumping for about three hours uh, for the spring season. So you know, yeah, it's um, a lot of money. So hopefully, hopefully I I can save thirty grand. You know, in the next two years, hopefully I can pay for that. But yeah, that's that's a lot of money switching to natural gas will probably pay for the motor the first year easy um and the other stuff is i i had to do it anyway it needed to be done so it's uh it's just an operating cost but irrigating is not cheap it's a not a cheap game at all it's very expensive and it's not it's getting harder and harder to make it work so you know just trying to do what we can 
Yeah, you can hear that motor's kind of... That, that thing may have sped up a little bit. I heard it kind of surge a little bit. Um, you know, I don't know whether I should have just kept the electric motor on there or not. We'll see. We'll see at the end of the year. Um, the other thing... That motor's got to run for 24 hours, and then we're going to drain the oil out of it because it's got break-in oil in it and then we'll probably we once we do that I turn that motor off tomorrow then I'll probably put a guard on the drive shaft and then we'll go from there so anyways I'm gonna go back and check this real quick make sure it hadn't changed just thought I'd give you a video been crazy crazy busy and just have not had time to do anything so here's the video it's spring time to start spending money So, you can see where the drive shaft goes to that gear head. If you're unfamiliar with wells, that's what transfers the power. Uh, several days after my first half of this video. Uh, because, man, it was supposed to be a brand new gear head, which I don't, I don't know, no reason believe it wasn't it looked new but uh ran the well for five hours and the gear head just blew apart so uh that was friday they uh today's monday so i put a new gear head on there I run it about five hours now and haven't had an issue yet so that's good uh, it's just they said uh, they had one of those do that last year so who knows uh, we're trying to get our wheat watered so we can go out for hay most of it's looking real good my, my small circle here I don't know it looks horrible right now I don't know what's going on it's usually my best my best stuff it does not look good and I don't know why it doesn't look what's going on with you, but uh, whether a bunch of it died or what happened. So, who knows. Uh, what's surprising is how good this uh, this circle here looks. This 70 acre circle looks great. Usually it doesn't look very good. And then our big circle looks pretty good. So, you know, we were wanting to get water going into February. Well, that's into March. It's typical farming around here. I don't know why. It just always seems to be the way it happens. Uh, when I used to raise a lot of oats, it always seemed to be the case. And no matter how early I started, just thing after thing after thing caused caused something to just not work on that timeline. But so we we got some rain the other day. Uh, you know, everyone got this nasty blizzard. Well, we got rain out of it, which is great for us, but hard on a lot of other people. We, um, I got an inch and a half of rain, which is amazing. A lot of people didn't get that much. Part of the ranch only got an inch, so it was, it was kind of spotty. So that's going to help, help us out if we hadn't got that rain, and we'd be way behind on our wheat water and because we didn't really get much snow this year again got more than we got last year but still pretty behind and that that helped us out some so uh we're gonna have to put everything in the hay this year and it's gonna take every ounce of moisture we've got so we'll see how that goes but yeah i'm just down here uh, just moved some troughs down here. Got a bunch of cows. Just put some silage out for them. So, uh, just coming out. Look at them. Uh, check my well, really. I'm going to take this bale of hay over to another place. But been super busy. Uh, just moving lots and lots of cows around. Shipping lots of calves. And they just kind of been off the YouTube for a while just haven't had time and now now I'm sick uh, it's 
the great thing about little kids, for some reason, they seem to drag all the sickness home. So, I'm dealing with that today. But, yeah, that's just, that's what's going on. So, I'll try to get this put together and get it up there. It's the 18th of March. I don't think I put up a video for three weeks or so. Um, not intentional, just just been a little busy. You know when people start asking, uh, asking you if you're all right, you know you haven't put something up for a while. So anyways, uh, just hope we get some more moisture so we can start growing some grass. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what the spring holds. Uh, that's one thing about where we are. The wind. It, it sucks that moisture out of the ground real quick. So we'll catch you guys on the next one.